Namaskar Shivaya children. Good morning. So we have finished our third chapter. We are now moving on to the next chapter children. And the chapter name is Reproductive Health. So it is chapter 4 Reproductive Health. So in chapter 3 we learned that human reproductive system and its functions. Okay, so we learned about the male and the female reproductive system and how this works and what do they produce and uh, how is a baby forming and all those things, right? So in this chapter, let us discuss closely related topic to reproduction, which is called as the reproductive health. Okay, I hope everyone know, uh, knows the meaning for the word called as health, right? So if a person has to be healthy, it means that his body will be very healthy uh, so he will, he will be leading a uh, proper life now what do you understand by the term called as reproductive health so you know what is health but what is this uh, uh, what is this term called as reproductive health so simply if you hear this term you will say that it refers to healthy reproductive organs with normal functioning Okay, about females and females, reproductive organs, proper height of function, we say that that person has a proper reproductive health. Okay, but this reproductive health, it is not just defined to the reproductive organs alone. Okay, it has a broader perspective. And this broader perspective it includes the emotional and the social aspect of reproduction also. It is not just the uh, reproductive organs who has to function properly. Along with them, the other aspects like the emotional and the social aspects should work properly. Only then, reproductive health can be achieved. So, how can we define this term called as reproduction? So, WHO, they have given a definition for it. So, what is WHO? World Health Organization. So, they define reproductive health as a total well-being in all aspects of reproduction. Okay, it is not just with the case of the reproductive organs alone, but with all aspects of reproduction. That is, it will be physical, physical which means the a uh, person a person has to maintain their reproductive por uh, I mean, parts properly okay they should keep them healthy along with that emotional factor or the aspect should be good okay and same way the behavioral and the social aspect should be good so, only when physical, emotional, behavioral and social aspects are good, we can say that person has a good reproductive health. Okay, now what is this emotional aspect? It is nothing but the psychological aspects of this reproduction. Now, psychologically also, a person should be healthy if he has to maintain a proper reproductive health. And not just the emotional part, the behavioral and the social aspects also plays a major role in this. Okay, behavioral means the way through which, I mean the way in which the person behaves among others. Then the social aspects, it, uh, it uh, includes different aspects of the society. The people surrounding us should be in a good way so that Every one of us has proper reproductive health. So WHO, it defines reproductive health as a total well-being of all aspects of reproduction that is physical, emotional, behavioral and social. Now, therefore, a society with people having physically and functionally normal reproductive organs and normal emotional behavioral chain i mean behavioral things interact among them in all sex related aspects might be called reproductively healthy so they should be physically emotionally behaviorally and also functionally they should be normal with the reproductive 
things okay so reproductive organ should be physically and functionally good along with that emotional and behavioral uh, interactions among them in all the sex related aspects might be called as reproductively healthy so it is not just one category called as reproductive organ which defines the reproductive health so all these physiological that is uh, physiological things along with the emotional things and along with the behavioral and the social aspects the society in which we live so you know they have made a discrimination among girl child and boy children right? so, to an extent now this discrimination has been uh, reduced but even there are places where the society has kept male child or the boy child in the high position and girl child in a low position right so nowadays it has changed a lot even though in some rural parts of india these discrimination always is happening okay so the society should also help a person to have a proper reproductive health understood it now why is it significant to maintain reproductive health what what is the importance of maintaining this reproductive health and what are the methods which are taken to achieve it appo endha importance aanu ullathu ee reproductive health nu parayna karyam proper way to maintain cheyanum and same way what is the method taken up to achieve this reproductive health so that is what we are going to learn in this chapter okay so the first part which we are going to learn is reproductive health problems and strategies we will see the problems and the strategies of reproductive health okay we know what is problem we know the meaning for the word called as problem right so reproductive health its problems and strategies so problem we know the different problems which affects the reproduction okay and the other aspect is the strategies so we will discuss about the problem and also the strategies now what is strategy it is nothing a plan of action which is designed to achieve something okay so to achieve this reproductive health certain plan of action is carried by some governmental non governmental agencies so we'll learn about all these in detail in this part so india was one amongst the one country the first country in the world to initiate action plans and programs at a national level to attain total reproductive health as a social goal okay so india was the first country who initiated this reproductive health programs that is the family planning program in the world in 1951 okay so india was the first country to do, to do this in the world and what did they do they initiated action plans and programs at national level okay so nationally in throughout every stage of india this action plan was initiated and why did they initiate this action plan it is to attain total reproductive health as a social goal and these programs are called as the family planning okay and this was initiated in the year 1951 and it, it was not just initiated but it was also periodically assessed over the past decades ad proper aayittu every year they are assessing that okay so they are assessing whether the plan is going on properly understood it now wider reproduction related areas are also in operation so it is not just the family planning alone uh, which is now carried out in india other than that improved programming um, improved programs covering wider reproduction related areas currently in operation under the popular name which is called as reproductive and child health care that is rch programs okay so here what they are doing they are creating awareness among people about various 
reproduction related aspects and they are providing facilities and support for building up a reproductive healthy society under these programs appi ee family planning aikotta with this rch program also what the government is trying to do they are creating awareness among people so we have different uh, uh, different types of people in india right so there are some educated parts there are people who are not at all educated uh, they are people i mean there are people who are educated but they don't have the knowledge to understand things like that our indian uh, population it is divided into different types right so what government is doing us they are creating awareness among people okay so they speaking about all these thing among people and also they provide facilities and support for building up the reproductively healthy society okay so that is what is achieved using this programs so they give awareness about it and not only that it will help them these programs will help people to build up a reproductively healthy society okay now how is this awareness created what do government and the non governmental agencies do so to create this awareness with the help of the audio visual and print media governmental and non governmental agencies has taken various steps okay ab ee reproduction related aspects na normal people da okay ella normal people lum ettikan vendittu governmental and non governmental agencies they have used the help of audio visual and print media audio visual means the uh, uh, tv then uh, uh, through we i mean um, radios then through the newspapers like that they use different medium to bring about awareness among the people about the re- um, reproduction related aspects okay so why is this awareness given it is given to create a reproductively healthy society okay and this awareness it is not just created by governmental and non governmental agencies along with them parents and other close relatives along with teachers and friends also play a very major role in dissemination of the above information dissemination means it is to pass the uh, fact from one person to another okay so awareness it is not just the duty of the government and non governmental agencies it is also the duty of teachers parents the other close relatives of a child uh, or an adult person along with the friends whom they have so they all pay, play a very major role in dissemination of 